It's eight in the morning, and Jürgen Koch is plucking green grapes. The star cook and restaurant owner is also a partner in the Tauberhase winemaking company in southern Germany. Today, he's thinning the vines, taking some so that the rest will grow larger and juicier. He used to just throw away the unripe grapes, but now he uses them to make sour juice, called verju. We thin the vines shortly before they change color, always around late July or early August. At that point, the grapes have a low sugar content. In other words, they're rather sour. The thinning is finished within a few hours, and three tons of grapes head for the press house. At the Weinstahl, Jürgen Koch's restaurant in Castel, the harvesters are treated to a hearty meal, wild boar goulash with pears in verjure. In the kitchen, Koch prepares the second course. He uses at least two bottles of verjure every day. He wants the harvesters to have a chance to taste it. I'll be making blau zipfel, a kind of Franconian bratwurst, in an onion verjure stock. I use verjure to give a mildly tangy flavor. This sourness, together with the sweetness of the red onions, makes a delicious modern variation of this classic of Franconian cuisine. By one in the afternoon, while the bratwursts are stewing in the verju stock, the green grapes are being pressed. They're quite hard and difficult to process. Only after a second pressing does the yellow juice start to flow. Verjus is French for green juice. The green refers to the unripeness of the grapes. Now it's time for a first tasting with the cellar master. Was it the right moment to harvest? I think we caught them at the perfect time. And what I also like is this delicate note of grass. Yes, very fresh. A little like apples that have been picked prematurely. Yeah. Very good. 4 p.m., the last stage of grape pressing. In a nearby cider mill, the 1,500 liters of grape juice are pasteurized and bottled. The bottles are immediately labeled. Koch likes what he sees. The 2010 Verjou is ready. When it's in the bottle, the work is done. In the morning, it was still on the vine. And in the evening, it's a fine kitchen ingredient in a bottle. It's a very good feeling. Back in the restaurant, the chef has been looking forward to this moment. The 2010 Verju will premiere with coiled sturgeon filet in Verju stock. The mild acidity of the flavoring ingredient fits perfectly with fish. To make the verju stock, onions are sautéed and then drenched with unripe grape juice. Jürgen Koch finally has enough verju in his pantry. Only six bottles were left from the 2009 vintage. The star cook is satisfied with the new harvest, but sees potential for development. I think it will continue to benefit from developing in the bottle. I think it will be as good as the 2009 verju, which several gourmet magazines chose as among the top five in Germany. At 7 in the evening, the sturgeon coils are ready. The verju sauce has been seasoned with mustard, giving it a golden yellow color. This morning, still on the vine, and already on the plate, the 2010 verju. But probably only true fans like Jürgen Koch would enjoy the sour juice straight up with ice cubes.